I'm Q. I'm Hannah. <laughs> and we are reviewing the 2014 Volkswagen Jetta Sportback TDI. We bought this from a real customer. And if you want us to possibly buy your car or you want to sell it, go to carvindy.com and see what we'll give you for your car today. Ho oh, man, are you in for a humdinger? Yes. I'm here with Igor. Yes. See, I always thought it was pronounced Igor. Now I'm losing sleep. Well, and young Frankenstein, it's Igor. Well. <laughs> uh, before you drove this, had you ever uh, been in one of these before? These wagons? No. No. They're pretty interesting, aren't they? They are quite interesting. <laughs> so this uses the 2.0 uh, turbo diesel. Um, and it only makes 140 horsepower, but 240 pound feet of torque. And I think this handles like one of the most interesting, strange cars like I think I've ever driven. So you get 42 miles per gallon on the highway. That's, That's a lot. What? That's a lot. That's crazy. That's a lot of mileage. Let's talk about the exterior. Yeah, I like the exterior. What do you like about it? Um, I'm a big, uh, I like a good old like classic looking car. Yeah. Like an old a grandpa car. This is a peak grandpa car. It is peak grandpa car. I do car. like it. I think an old man would pedal in it, you know? Yes. Yes. I I agree. So it does have that understatedness where it's like, it's, it's like, almost yeah, anonymous, right? An art student would drive this car. They're just Ooh, weird enough. That's, they're a little eclectic, you know? That's very correct. Thank you. <laughs> like, I'd say it even looks dorky to a certain extent. Yes, but like in a cute way. Like that guy from Halloween X. <laughs> <laughs> Insert picture of yeah. Corey Cunningham. With a uh, derp face. Mm. Okay, continue. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it's subtle. Yeah, well, I... It's got some restraints. <laughs> How do you think this thing will age? Very nice. I think it'll age really it's gracefully. It's a very nice car. Absolutely. Yes. I'm with you. What would you score the exterior? I would score the exterior a five out of five. <laughs> hey oh! I just like, the, and now yes. if it were wood panel. It would be like, we'd it be like. Be, I'd be like, this is God's car. <laughs> But it's not, so I just think it's really, you know, maybe, maybe a 4, 4.7. Yeah. Let me be generous, it's not with I kid you not though, I was thinking, because I, I grade on the curve when it comes to wagons. So like on I get- On the curve of the car? I just like on a grade, like a grade oh, curve. Oh yeah, uh -huh. of course. And um, I just keep talking to the hum. But, I know, I know. <laughs> um, I, I rate it a 4.5. Because it is so different, and it, it's it not trying to look like really like mean and aggressive and like fast and furious. Yeah. It's just kind of plucky. It's just a nice little guy. It's a nice little guy. So now I have some things to say about this, but walk me through your interior. I like the interior. Uh, like you the enter the car. It's so flat. Uh, there, yes. It's very minimal, minimalistic. I would say. Yes. Um, we got a, a we got two, three, four. Uh -huh. Air blowers. We've got a little screen. Uh, the basic switches. Yeah. Uh, you've got a glove box as yep. per usual. That's right. Two seats. That's right. CDs. I do love a good CD player. A good CD player. Um, I like it. I think it looks nice. And what is probably your favorite feature? Oh, the sunroof. I quite like the sunroof. Yeah, it's I awesome. Do. I do. I mean, I it's pretty crazy. Like I, so I agree. You get in. It's straightforward. It's not overly designed. Yes, it's, it's not. It's very, very minimal. Yeah, it's very minimal. And like minimal doesn't go out of style. Let's talk about the orange mess uh, happening behind us. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I had a, we had a little wager because this is a wagon and you can- I won no money. You won zero dollars. Mm -hmm. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. I think I smacked it. So what we did, is we had a little friendly wager of with the seats folded down, how many pumpkins can you fit in the back of a sport bag? Yeah. And well, extra large pumpkins. They were big. And how many did you guess? I think like nine. Nine or ten. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lightweight feather foot over there. I really thought we'd be getting the big ones. Like the great pumpkin, you know? I'll tell you what, we saw how much they cost. I know. But <laughs> I wagered 15. Right. Yeah, I think I smacked 15 right on the button. And like, these are big pumpkins too. It, 67 cubic feet of cargo room back there with the seats folded down. That's a lot. That is. That's like almost more than a Honda CRV. I don't even like, I think Honda CRVs are ugly. Right? I mean, they're not, yeah, they are. They're, they're not, they're not pleasant. The, this is very pleasant. I do like this car a lot. And the seat controls make no sense. Yeah, so. Walk me through this. The They're like situation. lever based. Whoa! Which is on brand for my character. <laughs> <laughs> How 
However, <laughs> you get it. Yeah. Code switches. <laughs> yes. <laughs> However, it's not neat for the average consumer. No, it's not. It's a lot of work. It's over like, there. and I don't even know what this one does. This lever you got. It's like I think it doesn't move. It moves you forward, but at the same time, you also have a sliding one on the bottom. Right. So that's your. So why? Do, but where's my lumbar support? Um. It is not there. It doesn't exist. I don't think you have it. I know. <laughs> You're like, I have also I'm established aware. this. Now, so I agree, the seats are actually not very comfortable and not a great, not a lot of great ways to put it in a good position. However, tell me if this isn't, the seating surface isn't like the best I knockoff do. leather you've ever is seen. Is it knockoff leather? It is not real leather. It's very good looking. Isn't it good looking? For knockoff leather. For knockoff leather, it's fantastic. Like this is the best vinyl uh, leatherette, whatever you want to call it, fake leather I think I've come across. So overall interior score i would say it's like a like a 4.5 out of 5. yeah it's very nice man we're we're pretty much simpatico i rated it a four i think it's 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 set up so that it can be driven fun but it can feel a little bit lazy or lethargic and if you just kind of like hop in and go yeah. you know you can wring more out of it but it takes some work now, the feel as far as like just how the car feels on the road, I love the way this car feels. Yeah, like I say, like the, the suspension is good. I think it's stiff, but it's a little bit floaty. Like, you know, I, it's it's just, for me, it hits the sweet spot of feeling like the road, like, okay, like Toyota Avalon drivers. You drive an Avalon because you don't want to know you're driving. You just want to exist in a, in a cloud, like on the Charmin. Like, you know, you don't want to feel anything. Here, you can still feel road but it's not too much. The steering is heavy, but it's precise. Like, it's a, I think it's a, it's a responsive car to drive. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, so, what do you think about the fun factor? I don't know, probably like a 3.9. Yeah. 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 I said three. Like, oh, wow. So, I mean, I think we're, we're right there. Yeah, yeah. All right, so finally, let's talk overall about, like just value this car, what it can do, what can it accomplish. For someone like you, it can get you from point A to point B. Get you from point, point A to point B, um, and it'll get you and all of your wares from point A to point B. Yes, it will. And you can drive a month. How much money is it? It's a great question. <laughs> so this one. Many that we... cars can transport my wares. <laughs> get out of here, man. Get out of here, King. How much money? I've <laughs> since learned that when I'm called a king, that's not a good thing. Well, it's not a bad thing. Well, you know, that's a good observation. <laughs> yeah. um, so this car has 125,000 miles on it. We bought it from the customer. Okay. It's a 14. Okay. I would say in a retail environment, you could pick this car up for like 10 grand. I'm not that enough. Yeah. But I'd like to pay like Yeah. Yeah, what they accurate. It's a 2014 car, get out of here. That's right, that's right. Um, now new. How many years ago that was? Uh, eight, eight, eight years? Eight, 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 eight. I think it was eight years ago. Eight years ago. Yeah. So, you know, it's 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 not I, a spring it's chicken. It's the size of a small child. <laughs> if you take care of this motor, yeah. you can get 400,000 miles out of it. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Like, if, as long as you look after the engine, you don't miss service intervals, and diesels, you only have to change the oil like once every 10,000 miles. Like, that's like once a year. Wow. So, in a lot of ways, it's super functional and it can be kind of low maintenance as long as you don't ignore the stuff that you need to be doing. Yeah. So, overall, I'm, I give this thing a four out of five. Yeah, I probably would too. Yeah, I think it's a great car. In fact, I would own Q Harper, I would own one of these. Yeah. All right, four out of five. Uh, if you want to see more content, uh, go to carvindy.com or check out our YouTube channel and you can check out some more stuff right here.